The India Meteorological Department, that's the IMD, has issued a warning that a low-pressure area over the Bay of Bengal could intensify into Cyclone Dana by the 23rd of October. Landfall is expected between Puri in Odessa and Sagar Island in West Bengal on the night of 24th of October. Odessa's Director General of Police, Sudhanshu Shekhar Sarangi, has confirmed that the police are fully prepared to handle the situation. Efforts are being made to bring back fishermen who have ventured into the sea. By tomorrow, officials will know which districts are likely to be most affected. The course of action will depend on this assessment. Odessa Chief Minister Mohan Charan Maji stated that the Odessa government is well prepared for the cyclone's impact. A full evacuation plan is in place for vulnerable areas with teams from the NDRF and the ODRAF and fire services on standby. Three districts, Kendrapada, Baleswar and Bhadrak are expected to be the hardest hit. Basic advisories have been issued to agricultural offices and district collectors to ensure quick evacuation of rainwater. Energy grids and emergency transmission towers in vulnerable districts are being closely monitored. Cyclone shelters are being stocked with essential supplies, including food and water. The IMD has issued a red warning for heavy to very heavy rainfall in several districts of Odessa, including Puri, Khorda, Ganjam and Jagatsimpur on the 24th of October. Rainfall is expected to range from 7 to 20 centimetres, with isolated areas seeing more than 20 centimetres. Thunderstorms and lightning are also forecasted. Special Relief Commissioner D.K. Singh has directed the closure of schools in 14 districts from 23rd to 25th of October as a precautionary measure. Meanwhile, in West Bengal, heavy rainfall is expected in coastal districts such as Purba and Paschim Medinipur, as well as North and South 24 Parganas on the 23rd of October. The inauguration of the 450 crore rupee modern passenger terminal at Petrapol on the Indo-Bangladesh border, originally set for the 23rd of October with Home Minister Amit Shah, has been postponed due to the cyclone. The IMD warns that heavy to very heavy rainfall could trigger flash floods in coastal and northern parts of Odessa. Districts such as Mayurbhanj, Kattak, Jajpur, Baleswar, Bhadrak, Kendrapada and Jagatsimpur are at high risk. The NDRF has kept 14 teams on standby in West Bengal and 11 teams in Odessa. Rescue and relief teams from Army, Navy and Coast Guard along with ships and aircraft are also on alert. Regular alerts and advisories are being sent to ports including Paradip and Haldia. The Odessa government has directed the district administrations to prepare over 800 multi-purpose cyclone shelters with basic facilities like electricity, food and water. The CM has also ordered early restoration of essential services such as electricity, water and telecommunications once the cyclone passes. Emergency teams from the ministries of power and telecommunication have been deployed for quick restoration. With Cyclone Dana expected to make landfall soon, the governments of Urasa and West Bengal are on high alert, preparing for heavy rainfall, flash floods and possible disruptions in essential services.